More layoffs. Again, this is a very common theme here at Buona.something.com. PlayStation is now the latest victim of the layoffs. PlayStation is cutting 900 jobs and canceling games affecting Spider-Man, Last of Us, and Horizon developers. This is over on GameSpot.com. They got the details over there. Insomniac, Gorilla, Naughty Dog, Fire Sprite, and other teams are facing layoffs. Man, 2024 has been brutal, and we're just in February. Goodness gracious, it seems like every other day we're talking about some company laying off a vast amount of employees. Like this article says, 2024 has already seen more than 7,000 video game industry layoffs. And it's, this, it's February. We're just coming up on March. Related to these moves, PlayStation is proposing to close its London Game Studio, which was most recently responsible for developing PlayStation VR games. Cuts are coming to Sony's other studios, including Fire Sprite and Somniac Games, Naughty Dog, and Gorilla. These aren't small. PlayStation technology, creative, and support teams are also affected by these measures. There's Twitter posts all over social media, different types of posts. I haven't looked on LinkedIn yet, but I'm pretty sure there's posts there as well, people expressing their disappointment. Additionally, SIE is canceling some games. We looked at our studios and our portfolio, evaluating projects in various stages of development, and have decided that some of these projects will not move forward. Uh, one of the cancels games was a Twisted Metal live service project. I think I remember reading about that a while ago. So this is about 8% of play, the PlayStation group. And uh, Mr. Uh, Ryan here, Jim Ryan, which I think he's about to retire. I saw a post on Twitter about him going to visit some Sony employees and they were celebrating his career and he was smiling with them. And I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past him that he knew that they were getting fired when he went there, which... Couldn't feel good at all. Um, I'm not going to blame him specifically, but I always blame upper management for these types of cuts because it's their job to not let this happen. That's why they get paid the big bucks so that the company doesn't fall apart. Uh, and if they overhire, if they do, you know, they, they overcompensate or approve too many projects that shouldn't be approved. You end up overspending, and when you overspend, you have to cut people. And I, uh, to me, that's always, always, almost always the fault of upper management whenever layoffs happen. Um, this is what Jim Ryan said on this quote. It says, we need to deliver on expectations from developers and gamers and continue to propel future technology and gaming. So we took a step back to ensure that we set up a continue, set up to continue bringing the best gaming experiences to our community. Yeah, that's just a fancy way of saying, well, our bad. We're going to have to adjust now. But yeah, PlayStation PlayStation 5 is in its fourth year. He says, we're at the stage where we need to step back and look at our business needs. And uh, we talked about this on, 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 uh, on the channel here about how their earnings report caused Sony to lose $10 billion in value. So they're still reeling from that. Um, and I'm pretty sure that didn't help this decision that they lost so much uh, in uh, stock value after that announcement on that earnings call or how they were going to cut back the sales targets. So it was, it's, it's pretty bad, pretty bad over there. It's pretty bad everywhere. I'm not going to say over there at Sony, but uh, it's pretty bad everywhere because, you know, we've been talking about Microsoft, Amazon, and Facebook, and Twitter. It's just, we've been talking about all the big, big tech names and companies, uh, Nintendo. Um, I don't know. We've been, we haven't, we haven't been hearing much about cuts in Nintendo or anything like that because, um, uh, or well, yet that much <laughs> edit that out excuse me um we've <laughs> we've been, we haven't been talking about it that much but um i imagine it may be coming it may be coming so check this story out man GameSpot has the details this is one of the big stories today about playstation cutting 900 jobs about eight percent of the workforce following that massive earnings call dip in their stock value of 10 billion it's not looking good. And these are games, I mean, Spider-Man, Last of Us, Horizon, these are games that sold and are doing really well. PlayStation 5 is, from what I understood, was doing really well. But 900 employees, gone, just like that. Check it out. Got the details over there.